joining me in the studio. This afternoon, I'm going to be touching base on something that I think we're all struggling with, you know, as this pandemic drags on. And that is, you know, how do we transition from working in an office environment or a regular work environment to a home environment? And this is going to be really particular to those who are fortunate enough to be able to work from home. And obviously, my heart and sympathy, and so does everybody at our firm, goes out to those who have been furloughed or have been the recipients of a reduction in force and have been sent home or are now faced with uncertainty as to future employment. And I understand what a struggle that is. That is a challenge that most of us have not had to face in our adult lives and just let just to let you know we all are and I think as a community as a nation probably as a world we all empathize and hope that this is over soon so that you all may return to work now those of us who have been fortunate enough to be able to transition away from our regular office routines Obviously, there's a lot of things going through our minds, like how is this going to look when we come back? When will we come back? But those are not things that we can control right now. However, I think there are some things that we can control right now that'll be beneficial just to reflect on. And one of that, one of those things is adding discipline to your daily routine and customizing your workstation. It doesn't need to look exactly like it was at the office, but Make it a comfortable, welcoming space to be. And, you know, if necessary, a laptop at the kitchen table. That, that may be, and obviously we've probably all had to do that, but that may not be the best thing, especially if this goes on another 21 days. It's already been over 21 days. And as this pandemic progresses and as we uh, continue to flatten the curve by isolation and staying in place, these are going to be things that I think are critical, not only for all of us who are working from home, but it, it may help transition into what business is going to look like and how business is going to be carried on going forward. So I'm going to touch base about a few things and I'm going to go into some experiences I had personally with when working from home started in the late 90s, early 90s, late 90s that, uh, that, that I think are beneficial and, and I want to share with all of you. Anyway, so stay tuned and thank you again for watching. I love doing these videos for you. I hope you find them positive, uplifting, and helpful. That is what they are intended to be. And if you have any questions, leave a comment on any social media platform where you view this. And I'll reply to you either in a subsequent video or in a direct message back to you. Thank you.